This is my pre-algebra course. Today you're going to take test number one. Now if you haven't completed the practice tests and if you haven't uh, studied for this test and looked at all, looked at all the uh, content in my classes and, and made sure that, uh, that uh, you know this material, then uh, you shouldn't be watching this video. Go back and do that before watching this video and taking test number one. Now before you start the test, we're going to look at this document in front of you that talks about how to grade your test, and that way you can see what I expect. You can see in the yellow it says subtract one point if you didn't write your name at the upper right corner of your paper. And then it says in the blue subtract one point if you didn't write the date at the upper right corner of your paper. And uh, so on and so forth. So name, date, course title, uh, the title of the paper, which is, you know, just uh, pre-algebra test number one. And the pink, it says, subtract one point in every problem where you didn't write the problem number. you got to write the problem number. And then in the green, it says, subtract one point in every, prob every problem. Not just, one, not just uh, one point, but one point in every problem where the problem was not circled. you got to circle your problem numbers. And so on and so forth. The orange says uh, you got to write an equal sign and subtract a point if you didn't write the equal sign. The purple says you subtract two points in every problem where the the, the work was not uh, the, the work was not shown. It was necessary to show it, but you didn't show it. In some problems, it uh, is not going to be necessary to show work because the, the, the you're just going to have to write the answer. There's nothing to show. But in some problems, there there might be some work to show. In the red, it says subtract one point in every problem where the answer is not rectangled. You got a rectangle your answer. And the blue says uh, subtract two points if your answer is wrong. The green, the the the, the light, the light green up here says subtra subtract uh, one point in every problem where the answer requires a unit like feet or uh, you know seconds or something like that, and the the unit was not written. So you need to be real precise when you're when you're uh, doing any kind of academic document. This is your record that you're that you've learned this material. So you need to make sure that it that it's nice and neat and that everything is labeled properly. Now uh, let's look at the test. Here's the test. Uh, you should finish in between one hour and two hours. You can finish faster than one hour if if you if you can, but uh, you don't have to. Um, you should have uh, nothing but a, a pencil and a paper in front of you. Put away your computer. Put away all your, any textbooks or, you know, no no help from anybody. Do it by yourself. Again, you should just have pencil and paper, and you, you should have a timer. Now, I want to make it clear: you can use a calculator for problems with decimals, but you should not use a calculator for for any other problems. Just the problems were with decimals, and I think there's only two problems on here with decimals. Uh, so if you want to get screenshots, you can take a screenshot of all pages at once here. But it's probably best to take screenshots of uh, two pages at a time. So take a screenshot of that, then take a screenshot of that, and then a screenshot of the last page. Now you might be able to print these pages out, so that way you don't have to rewrite the problem. Um, it's probably best to, 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 to go ahead and uh, print these pages out if you can, but it might be difficult to figure out how to do that. But uh, you want to have a record uh, of your test. So what you, uh, another thing that you can do is just write the answers on a separate piece of paper and then keep uh, some kind of a copy, print out some copy of the test and then uh, put them together. So you're gonna, uh, if you're using a digital notebook, you can just uh, keep those two things together somehow in the same file. And uh, if you're using a, a, a three-ring binder, then you just put those two, the, the, the copy of the test and your answers together, three, use your three-hole punch, and put it in your binder. Make sure everything's in order. Go ahead and take the test, and uh, pause the video or turn the video off. Stop it, and then uh, when you're done, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about, uh, how to in, how to in, uh, about the test and how to interpret your scores and so on and so forth. So uh, go ahead and take the test, and uh, I'll see you when you come back. All right, we're back. You should be done with the test. And uh, now we're going to look at the answers for the test. So here are the answers. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that. And... 
Now, if you are scoring a uh, question that has four parts, each part is worth one point for a total of four points. If you're scoring a question that has two parts, each part is worth two points for a total of four points. And if, of course, if you're uh, scoring a, uh, uh, a problem that uh, only has one part, then that one part is worth four points. So uh, again, every, every uh, question is worth four points, and there's 25 questions, so that's a total of 100 points. So uh, go ahead and grade your, your paper, pause the video, and uh, when you come back, we'll talk about how to interpret your, your uh, grade your, or your score. All right, we're back. Um, if you scored 90 to 100, that means you know the material really, really well. If you scored uh, 80 to 89, that means you know the material well, but there are just a few things you can work on. And if you scored uh, between a 70 and a 79, that means that uh, you know the material, but you uh, have some major things that you need to work on. And if you scored anything below a 70, that means that uh, you need to uh, that that you really didn't study for 99% of the time. It means that you didn't study for the test. You didn't do you didn't follow my advice when I told you the proper way to study for a test. The proper way to study for a test is to do problem after problem after problem after problem and just do tons and tons and tons of, of problems. And when you're done with those problems, do more problems to the point where you're absolutely sure that you know how to do every single variation of each problem. And if you score below a 70, 99% of the time, that means you didn't do that. So that's why you didn't do well on the test. So don't complain to me. Don't complain to your parents. Don't complain to whoever. Uh, it's your it's your problem. So you need to work on that for the next test. And uh, but if you scored uh, 70 or above, that's very good. I'm proud of you. That means you're you're picking up some momentum in this uh, course. So uh, that was test number one. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next class.